on to the latest in the Telangana turmoil. The government may be willing to offer more concessions to ensure the passage of the Telangana Bill in Rajya Sabha. Reports indicate that Sonia Gandhi has backed a special status for the Simandara region for five years after the bifurcation of Andhra Pradesh. What's the road ahead really for this contentious bill? How is corporate India and the markets reacting to the developments? We've got our team in, out in full force uh, to give you a 360-degree view on what's really going on. Sunanda, and what India Inc. is making of these developments and how it's going to impact business. Priyank is going to tell us uh, what the markets really have to say, of specifically of those company, companies uh, who are listed or based out of Hyderabad or Andhra Pradesh. Priyal, really on the legal implications first. Priyal, you go. Well, uh, to begin with, uh, you know, this there is in this entire debate about the constitutional validity of this entire bill. Uh, to begin with, you know, as for the constitution of the country, there are four uh, pro a method or the process is a four-step process for the creation of a state, which is uh, that the presidential reference goes to state assembly, state assembly considers it and sends it back uh, to the parliament. The big question that then came about was that what happens in case the state assembly rejects it or does not respond. Uh, with regard to that, uh, we spoke to a whole host of constitutional experts, and they point out that, uh, you know, uh, as per the constitution, it is silent as far as what really happens in case of uh, if the state assembly does not respond. But as per the Supreme Court judgments and the interpretation of the constitution, it has been uh, put into place that that in case that that as far as state assemblies. Uh, views are concerned, whether they are in line with the parliament or not is not uh, important. They need to consult the state assembly, but parliament is the sole authority on the decision making of the state government. So that's one legal hurdle that uh, seems, uh, as per uh, the stated provisions and as per the Supreme Court judgment, to have crossed. The second part, of course, is uh, that uh, Andhra Pradesh is enjoys a special status uh, in the Constitution of India. Now, as per the, sec as per the Article 371D of uh, the Constitution, uh, it essentially is, uh, uh, is a provision where uh, equitable opportunities for employment and uh, education is to be given to all uh, uh, parties and uh, people in Andhra Pradesh. Now, with regard to that, uh, the experts point out that perhaps it needs a constitutional amendment. And if that be so, uh, whether a simple majority is enough. Now, that is a contentious question for which we still need to know what is the real status and to understand if that it will pass uh, that test as far as whether simple majority is enough.